Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Claps from Molly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm here all week, uh, only for another day, and then the week's over. Hello. Uh, I wait for her to come on cam and boogie. Um, guys, welcome in. Today we are making beef and broccoli and we're going to try some pesto chicken. We're going to make some pesto from scratch from uh, the All In Together cookbook and then we're going to turn that into pesto chicken stir fry. Easy peasy. Um, hello, and we're playing games. It's a Wednesday stream. We get to play games on stream. Hey, Jay Fry. Jay Fry, look at that beautiful badge you've got. Beautiful, bright pink. Amazing. Thank you for being a massive sub. Um, hey, Roselli, good morning. How's your week been? Beware. It's a cute little thing. Games in the kitchen, I know. Isn't it fancy? It's just block pink. Um, Nido, what's been happening? Nani kid, hello. You've been busy. You've been busy recently. Knife throwing competition. No, my poor little fingers just growing back. No more knife throwing. Um, hello, guys. So, uh, before we continue, let's go back to the last time on show we did on the last stream. We did. Oh, that was a picture. <laughs> I just showed everyone a picture of the, uh, a screenshot that I, uh, like my, I paused my camera, my, my, um, my camera, I paused my laptop of stream and it was just like me doing this. It was quite funny. Um, we made bagels, regular and gluten-free bagels. They were all both good. Uh, we did say that uh, the gluten-free bagels, we didn't let proof for long enough or something. So they're a bit dense. But the flavour was nice. We both said the flavour was nice. It was just, they were just too dense in the end. Um, but obviously, Molly Bagel was delicious. The recipe for them is on the website. Um, we froze a bunch. We ate a few uh, and they were yummy. So that was scallion cream cheese, spring young cream cheese. Delish. One of our favourite ways to have them. And then yesterday, you'll see in All Things Food, I made a, like a sun-dried tomato pesto with chicken, uh, onion, tomato, lettuce, and made the sandwich. Bagels are a little bit tricky though to uh, eat as a sandwich because they're so dense. They're really hard to like squish and like eat into without the like everything f like flying out. Um, I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend like minimal ingredients. You can't make them into like a big sandwich. Here before I clock in, no worries, chef. It's lovely to see you. Uh, what kind of games are we talking? You just have to wait and see. Um, thank you, Nito, for sharing that. Um, rush, rush, rush. Just walked in the door. Fire, dinner, molly, cat. Rush, rush, rush. What are you cooking for dinner, guys? What's for dinner? What have you eaten? What's for breakfast, brunch? What are you eating? Um, let's do a deep dive into Discord. Can confirm Molly's bagels are 10 out of 10. Nito, um, I know you were working last stream really hard, but um, was there anything that I did in my technique that's different to yours or did you learn anything? Uh, this is, if you're not new here for the first time or if you've not seen this segment, um, we do a deep dive into Discord. We show you what the community has been cooking and eating the last few days. Um, all things food related, like food memes, food cooking hacks, things like that, you can all share them. Um, Margot received some hampers. I want, I, I want hampers like this. This is so cool. Um, so obviously they're for Christmas, but they've come late. Um, Moe, I'm not, a, I, am I the only one that's not a fan of champagne? Give me like a Prosecco or a Cava. I like, um, Spanish Cava. Um, a little bit sweeter. I, I find champagne too dry. Um, also it gives me like instant headache and I get knee, uh, weird knee pain. Don't worry. Alcohol does weird things to me. Um, gingerbread almonds sound pretty good. What have we got? Burnt toffee, popcorn and cocoa dusted cashews. Ooh, hello. Fruit mince pies, you can take them. Uh, looks like some crackers, cranberry and pistachio crackers as well. 
Um, you should, that looks like some quince paste. Yum. Guys, I want to be like uh, the younger version of Maggie Beer. That's probably my, um, my dream of being... So Maggie Beer is probably what you could say. Maggie Beer would be like Barefoot Contessa. Would you, would you agree with that for Australians? Would you be like very homely, very, I, I don't know like um, too much about the Barefoot Contessa. What's her name? Um, damn, I forgot her real name. But like very homely, uh, like self-taught home cook, kind of like, but not, Ina Garnet, yeah, that's it. Um, she's a bit like Ina, Ina. Um, She's, her, um, she's a home cook and she focuses on like yummy food. She's a massively popular food range of like quince paste and verjuice and like crackers and things like that. Um, yeah, I, if I was half of uh, Maggie, I'd be happy. Sexier than Nigella. You think I'm sexier than Nigella? Thanks. Um, probably like Nigella, Nigella Lawson. Me, yeah, I, 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 I'd, I'd take that. If someone said to me, you like given a like Aussie, um, Aussie Nigella vibes, I'd be like, yeah, cool. I agree. <laughs> but like, um, uh, Maggie's a bit like more wholesome than Nigella. Nigella, Nigella's a bit little raunchy, you know? I don't know if I've got that sex appeal like Nigella. <clears throat> I love Ina. I agree that Nigella has similar vibes, but not as familiar with her. Okay. Um, what else we got? Shop. Uh, Maggie, thank uh, Maggie. <laughs> Margot, thank you for sharing. This looks amazing. So this is the verjuice, which is kind of unripe. Um, it's... Oh, I'll just put my earplug in. How about that? I don't mind watching Nigella. Neither do I. She's amazing. Do you know I have one of her cookbooks on my... I got it for my 21st birthday, I think. I don't think I've ever cooked anything from it. I don't, I'm not massive on cooking from cookbooks, only my own. Um, hey Google, what is verjuice? According to Wikipedia, a virtue is a trait of excellence, including traits that hey, can be moral, social, or intellectual. What is a uh, verjuice? Sorry, I don't understand. Stop. Sounds like how I felt about watching Giada. Is that Giada, right? Is that how you pronounce it? De Laurentiis. She's, um, she's fun to watch. Uh, okay, so then there's chocolate almonds, more, more bubbles, uh, quince and something paste. I don't know what that says, um, but this looks amazing. This looks so good. That's like the dream to get that for like something like that for Christmas food, like good quality food products. Verjuice, middle French verjuice, green juice. So it's like uh, unripe grapes. Thank you very much. So it's like um, unripe grape juice. So it's quite acidic and quite uh, like tart. And she uses it on everything, kind of like instead of vinegar. Yeah, and she, she puts it on anything and everything. She has a show, well, she had a show called The Cook and the Chef. And we used to watch that in cooking class. Um, it was really cool. Like my cooking teacher, we used to watch episodes of that and discuss like, you know, because the chef was then teaching the cook and then the cook was teaching the chef. It was pretty cool. Um, shock tip. Oh, this is what I was saying. If you have um, packing lunches, kids' lunches, work lunches, whatever, I want to see it. Um, typical kid lunch, carrots, turkey, jerky. Um, never had turkey jerky. Fruit leather. Uh, pretzel chips, panda snack. What's a panda snack? You like chop up pandas? Uh, lemon water to drink. Interesting. Okay. Hello, panda. Oh, they're like, they got like chocolate inside them. I think I've heard of these. They're like little faces, like little cookies, right? And then they've like stuff inside. Um, will I be doing an Australia Day cooking shrimp? We're going to be cooking on Friday. Um, we're going to make some Anzac, I don't know, Australian food. Um, we'll see. Um, fruit strips, apple, nice. Hello pandas are good. Koalas March are better. 
Never heard of Koala's March. Koala's March. Interesting. Um, we're going to be making these. Uh, this is a redemption by Liz. Collages. Collages. They're like um, pastries type things. They're going to be good. Um, still don't understand this. And to me, I don't understand the double cut sandwiches. I still don't get it. Uh, I made this collage, so I was searching through. I have every, a lot of time when we go out, I always take a picture of Exceed with food. And so this is, this is what Google picked up. There was probably like, um, there's nine photos here. There's probably like 13 in, in total, but um, you could only use nine. It was, I typed in Exceed, um, like Troy with food. And uh, Troy with pizza, sorry. And this is what I come up with. So this was from 2014, just before, uh, 2014, 2015, 2016, sorry. So we'd been dating for two years. And then this is 2023. This is uh, my birthday or a few weeks ago, a few months ago, sorry. Yeah. Um, and this is in New York, New York, home. Costco, when Costco first opened, and just all different places around the world. Oh, this is, this is in New York as well, this top right one. Yeah. Crazy how your phone has facial identification now. Um, this is Google Photos. So we've been, uh, the Google Photos has uh, facial recognition for a while now, and you can... Uh, if I pick, take a photo of the dogs, it automatically recognises Romeo and Chester and it puts them in a folder. Um, it's very, very cool if you guys have ever used it. You can search through. Um, oh, then a face will come up and it'll be like, is this the same person as this? And it's so cool. It's amazing. iPhones do it too, have done that for a while. Yeah. Um... I still think, yeah, it's real cool. It's real crazy. Um, but then there's some stuff where I was like trying, there was a picture of like Exceed's face like under covers and you, you just want to be able like, that's a face. Like, but the the system doesn't seem to allow you. It only, it, it will choose a face and then you can, like it'll, it'll pick out a face and then you can name it. But if it doesn't think that that's a face, then it's not a face. So that sometimes there's two people and it thinks this is just one. Okay, this is uh, interesting. I want you to answer what these are. One, two, three, four. What would you name them? So for us, for me in Australia, I would call that an icy pole or a um, ice block. Two is a stove. Three is soda or lemonade. Four is a roll, like a continental roll, salad roll, continental roll. Um, and then five is a Dutch oven. What would you call it? What do you call it? I can search in photos for animals example and it will show you all the photos in your app that have animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you can type in dogs because um, when, when Chester got sick, we created folders and we wanted to find as many photos and videos of him. So we went through and we created albums for both of our dogs. And now we set it up so automatically, if it, um, if it thinks that one of, like Romeo or Chester are in the photo, it uploads automatically into their folder, which is fantastic. I'm just getting myself some water. All right, one, two, three, four, five. What are they for you? Yeah, I agree with that. Despite the variation on other answers, everyone who answered in Discord uh, agreed a Dutch oven. Yeah, a pot, Dutch oven, Dutch pot. Icy pole, stove, lemonade, roll, Dutch oven. Yes. There we go. So that's everyone's answers. So the American said creamsicle or a popsicle, which... I assumed. Cooktop, we say stove top, sometimes say cook top, and some take some stay out uh, some also say. Uh, Liz put all of them, stovetop range, cooktop burners. Um, 
And then uh, Sprite or Seven Up. Caprizi chicken sandwich, I love that. And Dutch oven. Uh, soda. Um, uh, no one said pop. I don't think anyone said pop. Is that more of a British term, pop? Like for soda? We say soft drink. Popsicle, range, range, sandwich, but it's not a sandwich. It's, see, it's in a bread, like a bread roll. So we, that's what we call it a roll. Is there an official name for a Dutch oven? I don't think so. Um, no, you would call it cast iron pot would be the other one. Like that's a cast iron pot or a Dutch oven. Um, some people would call it a casserole dish as well. Like that could also be called a casserole dish. But casserole dishes usually, I don't have a lid. Certain parts of the US they say pop, it's regional, okay. Just wondering why it was uh, up for a debate since it seems everyone calls it Dutch oven, yeah. So I think that maybe they call it casserole dish or a Dutch oven pot. Uh, not Dutch oven, uh, cast, cast iron pot. I should go back onto the Instagram and see if there's um, other people's did anything different. Uh, bakery, um, you're reusing the, the catfish you made with some greens and remoulade sauce and hush puppies. Hey, nice. Looks good. Mr. B calls that a massive thing that doesn't fit anywhere. Um, what I tend to do is get the lid and invert it and then it can fit in a drawer. They are frustrating. Thank you for sharing. Hey, beware. What did you think of the chicken and corn soup? Yes, this looks good. So it's chicken, corn, egg drop soup. It is delicious, if I do say so myself. Um, I hope you liked it, beware. Um, if you like Chinese chicken and corn soup, have a try this. And then with some chili oil on top, pretty tasty. It's, um, you can do mushroom as well if you're a vegetarian. You can do like a mushroom base. So it's corn and egg. Um, Nito, do you eat eggs? Delicious again, made a huge batch in the freezer. Uh, free, freezer, freezer. Huge batch to freeze, most of it later. Thank you. Uh, this is my bagel. So I put in a little um, pot or like a food processor like um, container, um, some sun-dried tomatoes. I kind of try to get as much oil off as possible. And then I put some feta, salt and pepper and blended that up. And then it was just some grilled chicken, tomato, onion, lettuce, and bagel topping. Like I said before, the bagels are a little bit dense for a sandwich like this. If I'm gonna have like a bagel, I want it to be like bacon and eggs, that's it. Not too high. Do you guys not say range when you're just referring to the top part of the oven? No. It's always stove, stove top. Oven and stove top. But that because a lot of times they come separately in Australia. They don't, you don't have like the full, um, it's not often. A range, that we call it a range hood, which is interesting because we call it a stove top, but then you have a range hood, which is your exhaust fan. So like the thing that sucks the head, uh, the, uh, the air out, like that goes above your head, that is a range hood, but we don't call anything a range. Yeah. So like, can you clean, uh, clean the range or the range hood? We pr primarily, I would say range hood. Like, can you clean the range hood? Oh, look at the range hood. It's like, it's really dirty. You would, that's, that's the exhaust fan. Um, whereas we don't actually call anything a range. And so most houses that I've lived in have a cooktop on the top and then a separate oven. Um, my parents used to have a big DeLonghi Italian oven and built in like, it was like a freestanding oven and, and connected cooktop. Um, my auntie has a really big one as well, but 
a lot of them these days are built-in ovens like mine and then the cooktop is on sitting on top of the stone or the, the bench top or whatever. Interesting that range hood stuck around as the art, as an artifact. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got? Kaz spice chicken bowl thing. Love a chicken bowl thing. Look at that. Noise. What kind of spices did you use? Roasted chicken, romaine, or cos lettuce for Australians, uh, tomato, cucumber, feta, and yogurt sauce. Nice. Nido did potato gems, cheese, and gravy. Anyone noticing a trend? Love some potatoes, gravy, and cheese. Nice. Um, so potato gems are those, that type of thing that are delicious when you make them yourself. Homemade potato gems are lovely, but they're not worth the effort. Like unnecessary amount of effort that goes into making potato gems. It's just easier, even though they aren't as good, to just buy them from a packet. And that's all done. So today what we're going to do is we're going to play some games like we did the other day. And look, can we all agree that I have an amazing, well, we have an amazing exceed. He's not just mine. Hair up today. Let's go really high. Let's do a really high one. With it. Hi, Pony. Um, can we all agree that we have an amazing exceed? Delicious. Because, hey, J Fred, thank Shout you for 65 me. months. Oh my God. Thank you very much. Appreciate the heck out of you. I made your banana cinnamon muffins today and they did. Oh, thank you, Ashley. That sounds amazing. So hold on, the ones from the website, the ones with crumble on top, they're yummy. They're very yummy. Thank you for sharing. I'd love to see photos if you took photos. Um, Jay Fry, thank you for 65 months, mate. Amazing. Um, guys, look what he did. So when I'm standing here, I can use the screen can be here, but when I want to cook over here, look at that. Amazing. Amazing. With the crumble, fabulous. Oh, guys, the banana crumble muffins on the website, delish, delish. Slick animation, bang. We love him, don't we? He's a good egg. There we go. Uh, all right. The animals are sc screaming at you. Okay, um, beware. Um, don't let them do that. Okay, so uh, we're going to recreate something from my meal workout plan, or whatever it's called, whatever you call this, meal plan. So um, I've been given two things that I want to make that I've got to figure out how to get to. Oh, that was day uh, bagels, bagels, chicken Texas bowl, which sounds good as well. Um, Indian chicken curry, I think we're doing on Friday. Do we want to on Friday do some Australian foods? So it's Australia Day. Um, and we are going to be streaming, of course. Um, so I thought we'd just do some lemmingtons, gluten-free lemmingtons, or something like that. Um, or I don't know what you guys would like to see, anything that we eat. Um, okay, so beef and broccoli today, sesame seeds, broccoli, garlic, olive oil, ginger, brown sugar, corn flour, soy sauce, steak, onions, and white rice. Um, I'll be working on Friday so you can keep me company. Sounds good. What the honor that I get. Now tell me to get, uh, now to get, tell him to get off his lazy bum and get some facial detection so it switches sides automatically. Oh, 
You can ask him that. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the other thing we're going to be making, beef and broccoli, uh, is... Oh, no. It was like chick pesto. Pesto chicken. Pesto chicken. Pesto chicken quesadilla. Pesto chicken. No, I don't want that. Pesto chicken stir fry. Here we go. So well, this one has got, so it serves two, 42 grams of protein, um, 50 grams of carbs, 22 grams of fat for anyone that cares. So we need corn, red onion, parmesan cheese, chicken breast, zucchini, green beans, oh, pesto, gracious. and bell peppers. I don't have bell peppers. But yay! Thank you for your resub. Welcome back. Hands. How you been? How did did your did you get your your hands on your package? Will there be pine nuts today? Um, yes. And we're gonna make our own pesto because there's there's one a store bought one there. So the, there's a lot of, this gym app is so great, but the only issue that I find is it asks for store-bought sauces and I never really buy, unless I like ketchup or mustard, I never really buy store-bought sauces. There's heaps of ingredients, like there's a Mongolian, there's a Mongolian um, beef meatballs um, recipe in here that looks amazing. And then it calls for Mongolian sauce, like a store-bought sauce. I'm like, I don't have that. So I'm gonna and this one calls for pesto. So we're just gonna make our own and hope that works. Bojangles, welcome back. Are you having a great week? Happy Wednesday. Merch, this is a great apron. Uh, all right, so we're gonna make some food first. Um, I'll be making some pesto. Would you like to get involved in a game? What would you like to play? Let's go here. Uh, let's have a look. So we can choose between words on stream or Gartic, where you choose the, if there's any other suggestions, let me know for things that we could do. Um, let's start with, I think we should start with words on stream. There we go. Well, I just get ready and get prepared, all the ingredients. You guys get started. Pine nuts must be crazy. They are pretty expensive, um, but if I buy them at Costco, it doesn't work out too bad. Just getting some beef out of the freezer. Need to go on a Costco trip. But they are checking currently since the reduction was missed on their part, which therefore means it's in a warehouse at their end of the country. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Sorry that that's happened. Um, yeah, but unfortunately it was out of my hands, out of my control. We're glad we could find it. Um, all right, so I'm just defrosting some beef. We make beef and broccoli. Okay, Miller, all right. So we're gonna start with the beef, if I can find it now. There we go, beef and broccoli. Sesame seed kernels. Hey, look at you guys go. So all you need to do is look at the words, look at the letters and make up words and put it in chat. That's all you need to do. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go in the back. Yeah, lot, at least it's in the country, not in the ocean. Yep. Um, soy, corn flour, corn flour. Um, I don't want to interrupt you guys by talking over and like 
the delicious. <gasps> delicious. I like that though. Um, I don't want to talk over you guys playing the game. I don't know. It feels weird when I know you guys are focusing. Um, okay, soy sauce. Hey Google, add soy sauce to my shopping list. Coming back. I just got to get some stuff from here. Um, sesame oil, I think. I don't remember. Me. The holes of my sweater. So this is the song, Nito, that you, reminds you of me. It's a good song. I think it came out in like 2012. No, I just talk over it. All right, continue, sorry. Grumpy, thank you for 51 months. Appreciate you. Um, really happy to hear that um, Big Jeff I enjoyed his first day at day um, at kindy. I seem to get a band-aid for my finger. Just because it's healing nicely. It I just knock it and then because there's no fingernail, it's very sensitive. Fiery. Um Ferocity. Tire. T-I-R-E, yeah, cool. F fiery. Um, no, I'm getting distracted. Just a reminder, guys, won't recognize your guests. Oh, if you, yeah, so if you've got a lock next to your name, or recognize your guests, go again. Rectify. Good one, Jay Fry. Good one, Nito. Okay. So we need broccoli, olive oil. Is that olive oil? I can I'm use sesame oil. I feel like it's better. Brown sugar, corn flour, soy sauce. Beef is there. We need some onions and rice. A level completed. Great job, guys. Uh, I don't have any extra sesame seeds left. Um, the white ones, because we used them all in the last stream. So we're going to use... Um, black, uh, black sesame seeds. Okay, white rice, sesame seeds, onion. Hey, great work. Kerry, Kaz, M. Potsler, J. Fry, Grumpy Gamer, Nito, Roselli, Ashley, fantastic. I go crazy on this game, but I'm on mobile today and I can't type. It's all good. Go when you can. I win, time to retire. There's no, there's no winning. There's no I in team. We're working together as a team, Gary. Team. Okay, just peeling this onion slightly. Um, so after the stream, I've got to finish. Oh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there, but I need to. I've got an appointment at 1:45. So, um, Chess has got the vet. Black box on, oh, what's that? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thanks, Roselli. Mostly. Great work. You had right clicked it, I think I think I did. Move this away. Okay. Multi. Alright. I 
I'm sort of figure out where I put things over here. I don't see them. Stoi. Stoi. Stoi, 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 stoi. Okay, so I was eating a date. I saw it in the pantry and I was like, mm, yum. Okay, so let me check we've got everything. We'd have garlic and ginger. Smashing it, guys. Easy level five. So Chess has got the vet today. Touch wood. It's all good. I need to write down a note. Um... Teeth and ear and foot. Little things that we've got to talk to the vet about. Nice. Caterly Crystal, welcome back. Hey, Crystal. Um, Grumpy Gamer, Kaz, Roselli, Nido, and M. Potzlar. Good. Um, how does Chester handle it when he realizes where he's going? Pretty good. Um, he loves being in the car. He is enjoying the car driving more. But he doesn't like to sit down. He, he, like, he likes to stand up and walk around the car. So, um, you know, this will be probably his third or fourth, I think third time that I've taken him up by myself. Um, he's getting a lot better. He loves to be in the garage, loves to be in the car. <coughs> oh, my abs. Um, there's never any issue getting him into the car. Um, C R O O N, croon. Like a, a is a crooner? Yeah, crooner. Well, there is two R's. I was gonna say a crooner, and then I thought, yeah, I didn't realize it's good one, Nato. Okay. I'm so weak today. Hey, good one. So does I mean it's fake, right? And then when it's coloured in, uh, or, or is, uh, mm, get confused, if I was fake or if I was a surprise letter or secret letter. Okay, garlic. Go there. Beef eyes fake. Okay. I think we're ready. Mm. One more thing. Ginger. All right, and I've got to follow this to a tea, okay? I'm going to be good. And then we're going to cook some rice. And how do we cook rice? In the pressure cooker. So, things we need for the pressure cooker. Great work, Nido, M. Potzler, J. Fry, Kaz, and Kerry. Thanks for getting involved. Next one, coroner. Let's hope that no one needs to see the coroner. Okay, for the best rice, you just use pressure cooker. Raptor. Good morning, bon dia. Vamos. Let's go. A parrot. A raptor and parrot. Good one. Um, I was going to say patio, P A T I O, but you can't do that because it's I use fake. It's a fake letter. Okay. So the way that I do rice is whatever vessel, I do same part rice, one and a little bit more water. So we're doing two of this, of rice. Amazing. 
then I'll do two and like a quarter, two and a half of water. But I washed the rice first. So I always use basmati, it's lower GI. It, it's a stained release, so it gets like absorbed into the body slower, so you don't get a massive peak in your energy. And then two of these. One. Because if I wash the rice, I might leave a little bit of water in there, so then I just do two parts. The trick. Okay, so if you're trying to eat healthy, don't you do the butter. But if you are always wanting to add flavor, which we don't never want to add, you know, we always want to add flavor, is just grab yourself, there's a spoon in here already, chicken stock powder, this is from the Asian grocer, one, two, let's go, two and a half teaspoons. Um, a trick that my, an Indian nurse I used to work with, told me put a little tablespoon of butter in there. So just give that a swirl around. Just break up any chunks of chicken stock in there. Crack on the lid, four minutes in the pressure cooker on high. And you've got the best, the best rice ever. Trust me, rice, rice baby. It's in my all in together cookbook. We always added butter when we were little. Buttered rice, so good. Guys, there's only eight copies, I think, of All In Together left. We're on low copies, like, and never be to be printed again. Um, you know, for the foreseeable future, we have no plans to reprint our cookbooks. So All In Together, all first things first, get, grab yourself a copy. I'll even sign them for you if you want. Okay. Great work. All right, sorry, just give me a kick and say, Molly, refresh, like, continue, continue, continue the game. Um, I'm just getting a knife. <clears throat> a knife. Seal. Female? Yeah. Good one, Kaz. Yeah. So, first things we need to do is in a bowl, whisk together the tablespoon, two tablespoons of cornstarch and water, add the beef to the bowl and toss to combine. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of baking soda. It won't affect the recipe too much, but we're going to hopefully do some, what is it called? With the, the thinly sliced beef to help it like <clears throat> retain the moisture. I forget the name. The um, Chinese kitchens do. <coughs> Flea. S is fake, it's not in female. Yeah. So I'm going to do the beef last because we want to use the the chopping board to cook first, cut first the onion. Okay, so take the end off, like that. And then through the stalk, we wanna cut it in half. That. Female is fake. Good one, one more to go, can you get it? Ailey, interesting. Never heard that word. Okay, and then we're just gonna go straight through, nearly cutting through. Like this. Uh, do I want to slice this? Good work, Kaz, Grumpy Gamer, Cad, M Potza, and Roselli. Great work. So on Wednesdays, we play a bit of games and we do a bit of cooking. Um, it helps me while I'm prepping. Keeps you guys, keeps you guys entertained. Uh, I think I'm gonna do 
It's like keep these in slices so they're a bit chunkier. Yeah. I like beef and broccoli with a bit of texture, you know? Okay. One onion. Privacy pie. No. Privy. Good one. Um, M A R Map Mappy Mar Mary Avery Yeah, uh, R A M P. I don't know why that didn't work, Roselli. Should be ramp. Oh, one of them's a hidden letter. There's a, there's a fake letter. I think that, uh, no, A is there. M is, oh my God, onions. Oh, it's hurting my eyes. Okay. So. So into here, I'm going to get some sesame oil. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this. And then into that, I'm going to stir fry our onions. Putting my eyes. Beautiful. And we need broccoli or a veg. So if you don't have beef and broccoli, obviously it's not beef and broccoli, but you can have a stir fry. So you can have whatever. You can add, add like zucchini. You can add peas. Frozen veg is great too. Uh oh, that's a hard one. All right, we go back to my level. Level one, wooden. W a o h o h o h o o d e n wooden. Oh. Ho down. Oh my goodness. Good one, Roselli. Okay, wash our veg. So I'm gonna use a bit of zucchini as well. Hood. Woe? Wooed? Wo wo will you woo someone? Let's see if I can do this. Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna. There. There we go. I don't know if I've ever stir fried with um, sesame oil before. I don't know if I like it. It's very intense. Okay. Wonder, one. One there. Honed, good work. Hey, Chess. All right, <clears throat> broccoli. Okay, good job. We passed level one. What are we up to before? I think 15. Let's go. Booty, uh, Kaz, Roselli, Delirium, Grumpy. All right, when, so when you die next time, we're going to go to Gardic. Do they, I wonder if they, these guys seem to have a lot of games. I wonder if they have any more stream, streamer games. If anyone knows anything, let me know. Okay, break these up. That. 
little florets. So not all the way through, just halfway, three quarters of the way through, and then break away. Break away. Creates little trees. Like that. Those onions are hurting my eyes. Making me very emotional. Partly. Good one, booty. Poultry, rap, raply. Oh my goodness. I always think of three letter words, but it's, it's always four, isn't it? Okay. Broccoli. So this says um, four cups of broccoli. So I've only got maybe two. So I'm gonna use some zucchini. So that means each person has two cups of veggies each. Good work. Booty, Kaz, Grumpy, Roselli, Joe Fry. R U L E D, ruled. Rude. Delicious. Hey, Rosella, thank you for giving the booty. Do you think little broccoli bits could work in a pesto? I could see it working. Hmm. Um, sure. Could do. I don't know about the flavour, what the like over, overbearing it would be. Something you could try. Could do it in a chimichurri, even. Because that would, like, the vinegar and the parsley would overpower it easily, and that's what you'd want it to do. It's a good idea. Good one, Jeffrey. Okay, so just small chunks of broccoli there. Now we've got a zucchini. And two dogs looking at me because I have uh, beef here and chicken over there. Okay, so just cutting this in half moons and then just pop them next to each other like that and then just slice. The thinner you go, the faster they'll cook, but you've got to weigh that up because the broccoli will take a little bit longer to cook. So. You might want the zucchini to either go in towards the end of when the broccoli is cooked or make the broccoli, um, the zucchini a little bit chunkier. Hey, great work. Three out of three. Legendary. Kaz Grumpy, AGG TV. Welcome in. Thank you for that. Uh, Crystal and Booty. Great work. All right, so onions looking good. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the onion. Oh, what was it say? Thinly sliced beef and cook. All right, so I'm going to take the onions out and I'm going to turn the heat down because we haven't cooked. I'm going to turn the heat off because we haven't chopped the beef yet. Uh, what have we got? Plod, P-L-O-D, plod, like you plod along. Um, P 
PE HER hero. No, P is fake. What about hero? Holder, okay. Someone write hero. Doll. Oh, do you guys, so you guys might not know what we call a, the doll, social security, you get the doll. Like, so, you know, if you you got like a disability payment or whatever, you're on the doll. It's like government support, law. Sink and last hits. Why did no one write hero? His hero, it was hero wrong? Could it not have been hero? Could it not have been a hero in there? All right, I'm mean, going into this one. I wrote gyro. Hero. Mmm, caramel's onion's so good. I don't often use yellow onion or orange, um, uh, brown onion as we call it too much because quite often it takes too long to cook. Booty cats, Roselli, damn! Great work. It was in there, I was messing with you. Put our veg in here. Put our mise en plus. Magnify. Good one, Jay Fry. I looked at it and then I realized you said the same thing at the same time. Okay, veggies over there. Now, beef. So we want beef and we want to thinly slice it. So it's still semi-frozen for that purpose. Not that I just got it out of the freezer or anything. That. Okay, so this is um, sirloin, top sirloin from Costco. It's my favorite cut from Costco. They're really, it's lean and it's quite tender as well. Rice cooker, done. All right, so what we're gonna do is grab this and we're gonna just thinly slice it on the angle. Or straight down, whatever you feel like. So being semi-frozen, it means that the meat is going to kind of stay firmer so that it's easy to cut really thin without it compressing. It's a little trick. You can also semi-froze it more frozen than this and put it through like a meat slicer and you get really thin slices. I keep wanting to do that, but I never think about it when we've got the, the cutter, the meat cutter in out. And then I have to cut and clean the meat cutter. All right. There we go. So we want 400 grams of beef, trimmed lean beef. Hey, all right, we still progress. We still progress when I said when we fail the next one, we're gonna change games. <coughs> oh. There we go. B I beads beads 
Bide, bees, nice, seed. Go on, guys. All right, I don't know how much weight this is, so let's weigh it. Um, I put this, can I get this to Okay, I'm, the scales, I, I put new batteries in and I, I put the USB charger in and it said full and now it's still saying low. I don't know what I do to, to scales, but it's saying low again. I don't want to buy another. What the fuck? I've checked three times because I feel like maybe I put the. Maybe I don't know how to put batteries in. I don't know why it has a USB charger and batteries. I have to go back to this stupid one. It works. Um, Kaz, Booty, Cad, and AGG TV, thank you very much. Let's go. All right, so I had this one for ages, but it the touchscreen doesn't really work very often. It's very frustrating. All right, so we need two, 400 grams. Yeah, 400, 200, 400. Oh, now it's changed to ounces. I... Two hundred and forty. So we need more. We need more beef. There we go. So lucky I got more here. Now you can deal drugs. No, nah, still can't. Still doesn't work. I'd be giving out too many drugs. Oh, see, it's changed it. Scent, good one. Um, tent, you got that? Tent. Tent, tent, T-E-N-T. -E Tent. Someone put tent in. No one's writing what I say. It's like, oh, there's no double. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Good one, AGG. I was getting upset. I wasn't paying attention probably. You're right. I'll shut up. Kaz and Booty, great work. But no one put in hero before when I said hero. Exit. D I V D. V I C E vice. Okay, so V is fake. Excited. Exited. All 
All right, we're nearly done. So we've got rice, we've got beef, and then I'm gonna take away the chopping board and knife until later when we use the chicken. Because it's contaminated, it's bad. Okay, so into here, we wanna put in two tablespoons of corn flour and three tablespoons of water. And we're gonna add in a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Corn flour. The two of these. And then a little bit of baking soda. Velveting, that was the word that I was trying to think of before. We're gonna try velveting. I never really remember how much to do, so I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of baking soda. Yeah. Is that enough? Baking? And then water. Great work, Kaz, Margo, Booty, J Fry, M Potzler. Good job. A little bit of water. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Focus. Sponge? No, there's no P. <laughs> I just thinking of random words, not actually looking at all the letters. F-O-U-S-E. S-E-N-G-U-E, sengui, sengui, S-E-N-G-U, no, that's, that's two E's, S-E-N-G, it's G fake, G is fake isn't it, all right, so that's our beef mix, fabulous, now to into here, uh, we're gonna do garlic. So I've got three cloves of garlic. <sighs> you guys did it. Nice, you was fake. Cons, cones. Confused. Good one, booty. Good one, fen. Fens. It's an interesting word. Level eight. Let's go. All right, you guys need to die, and then we'll do the next game. Cool. Which is fun and interesting and and hard. Fen is like a is a big a bog. When you say a bog, do you mean a poop? Or do you mean like a boggy, boggy marshland? Mutts, M-U-T-S. Mutts like dog mutts, like a swamp, yeah. If you, I don't know if it's Australian slang, but if you go and have a bog, it means you go drop the children off at the pool. Boggy slang for poop, yeah. Yep. Uh, or people say go and drop the kids off at the pool. I've, I've never really got that one, but. Um, uh, a bog is a poop. And then. <laughs> is that where bogan comes from? Um, no, not really. Bog and bogan different. 
Michael says that all the time and Jeff thinks we're going to the pool. <laughs> Poor kid. Bog roll. Tomato, um, um, you have bog roll or you have um, spaghetti bog, like spaghetti bolognese. Looks a bit like poop. Uh, I don't, can't find my, um, no, it's right there. Garlic press. Okay, four garlics. One, two, three, four. Like this. Oh, you guys nearly did it! One more. Brian, welcome in. Damn, great work, team. Three stars. You guys are smarter than fifth graders. Hold on. I'll change it, I'll change it. Great news, I got ADHD diagnosed. Nice! Fantastic. Hopefully find some, um, some techniques as well that help you, um, you know, uh, organise your thoughts, get a bit more organised. For me, I use a lot of um, apps and um, lists, beyond lists. Nuts. N-U-T-S, nuts. Nuns. All right, so in here we've got ginger now. Um, together, soy sauce, brown sugar, crushed garlic and grated ginger. So, tablespoon of ginger. So you want to grab frozen ginger, remember? Freeze your ginger. And have a grater. It's going to be a long time to, this grater's pretty shit. Um, sand. D is fake, okay. Sun, S stun, good one. Suntan, that's what I got. I got a suntan. Or a bit red. My suntan's a bit red. Tuna. What did Anita call it? Cat food. I was cooking tuna on stream the other day and she said I was cat food. I was a bit miffed. Okay, so garlic, ginger, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of corn flour, corn starch. Okay. What about, you already got nuns, good. See, so you, guys, you guys don't need me. You're already too good. Good work! Level 12, so we need to get past, I think, level 16. One of our cats comes running every time we open a tin of tuna, so I think they agree. All right, what, how many is this? A half a cup of soy sauce, light soy sauce. Okay. I use Pearl River Bridge soy sauce. I prefer Chinese soy over Japanese, by the way. Chinese um, and Korean stock powder too. Okay. So, we're going to cook the beef. So, we're going to go over here. Really quickly, thinly sliced beef. So, a little touch of... Oil, not much at all. I'm just gonna grab some of this. Pump, pump up the jam, pump it up. Puff, puffer, P-U-F, hmm. Burp, perm, I feel like B is fake. 
Nope, you already got B. Bumpers and burp is B. Rube's got B. F. F is fake. Fume. There we go. All right. So we're doing uh, like batches, half at a time. Albert Elvin would be just fun. Everything, everything. So the corn flour in here is going to go a bit like starchy and go a little bit brown as well. Uh, booty, Kaz, Mel, Brian, great work. Last thing I forgot is to add the brown sugar into here, to our sauce. I would taste it, but the raw beef has been in here, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Just make sure you give it a mix. Um, H-A, bulgy, okay. Okay, booty, interesting. Glib, ably. Ably, I didn't even know. Um, H-U-G-E, try E, huge. Ugly. Four letters. Ladybug, nice one, booty. Right. Some beef and brock for our lunch. And then I'm going to make some pesto chicken stir fry for tomorrow. Lady. Oh, whoa, whoa, she's a lady. So the, fa the new letter must be L A D. D, 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 D. D A L Dally? D A L Y? Is Dally a word? Dally? Dilly Dally? This is a lot for two people, but I, I did make a little bit too much more beef. Just getting the chopsticks to flake off the fond, F-O-N-D. <gasps> you guys, oh no. No one typed in my word. All right, that means we go over to, great work though. Booty, Kaz, J Fry, Brian, Mel. We didn't unfortunately get there though. Let's try this one. So this one here is choosing, I like guessing the, the um the drawings okay it's guessing the drawings I keep forgetting that you can't see me while on the camera when i'm on the other side Okay, so mango, looks like a mango. Uh, then loose ice beef, transfer to a plate, add the remaining vegetable on the pan fry, the broccoli and the onion. Okay, so we're gonna take this beef. Now it's mainly done, got a bit of brown color. I don't want it to be completely done. I don't want it to be overcooked because it's quite lean. Only two hits. All right, mango, sit, bold. Um. 
I'm doing a great job here with the, do the chopsticks. Okay, so now we need to take this out. Mm. Uh oh. I have to try again. Broccoli and zucchini. I'm gonna add a little bit of water so they can kind of help kind of steam them, cook them a little bit quicker. <gasps> Good try guys. We'll try again. Mm. Easy. I got you baby. All right, what do we got? Saucepan, pan. That beef does not taste good at the moment. Let's try a bit. This beef, it's hot, dipped it in the sauce. Mmm, so much better. What have we got? Fry, like frying chips, fries, maybe. Army knife, Swiss knife, utility knife, bean, bean soup. Hmm. Rat, good one. Frame. Painting, breathe. What is the bottom right one? The evolution of a bug man? Grandma, Gram grandparent, gran, bottom left. It's like an old lady with a baby, nanny. All right, we'll try one more time and then we can, we can go back to the other one if you want. They are were hard, they were hard, aren't they? Good one, Sammy and Booty, we're trying. Glasses, great work. Table tennis, hat, cap. Cauliflower, good work. Ballet, good one. Mm, caterpillar, microscope, my magnifying glass, like looks like a caterpillar. Okay, so now we're gonna add back in our onion. Yeah, just kind of got to keep cooking this until it absorbs a bit more or evaporates some of the liquid. Great work, Cap. Acta, okay. Reporter, journalist, Elvis, 
roller skates. Okay, beef, back in. Like that. This looks so good. I'm actually very keen for this. Good work, we got it. We got past level one. All right. Let's go to level two. Okay. Pour over our sauce. Delicious. Hey, BCK, two years. Two freaking years, my man. Amazing. Thank you for your support. Appreciate you having been here with us this whole time. How you been? What's been happening? How's work? We're making beef and broccoli. Really easy. Healthy. With broccoli. And we had some zucchini as well. Hella busy. Sometimes it's a good thing. Not always bad to be busy. Keeps you out of trouble. Well, I don't know about you, you're always in trouble. All right, we've got some rice to serve this with. And I've got, we're gonna make some chicken pesto. Next. a bit too much corn flour in here. Three tablespoons is a bit much. And that's really tasty. I add some water just to create more sauce to thicken. Because if you can taste the, the corn flour, cornstarch, it just means that it, it doesn't have enough moisture to, like, to absorb. So just give it more and it'll create more saucier sauce. Good work. All right. Mm, yum. That is good. All right. Kaz, Mel, Roselli, Sammy. Before we continue, let's just go here. Look good. Nice. All right. So we're gonna do so saucy. Um. So we're gonna use that zucchini later. Um. Swipe this binch. The binch. So it doesn't need to be complicated. This has, what did I say, 46 grams of protein in it per serve, which is pretty amazing. Okay, next, we go here. Ready? Look at that, beautiful rice, fluffy. Amazing. You don't need a rice cooker. Just get a pressure cooker, guys. <sighs> Beautiful basmati. Flavorful. So f rice, or as any side dish should be, should be flavorful. You're all steamy. Get a facial. Should be flavorful on its own. So we're adding a little bit of chicken stock in there, chicken stock powder. Mm. Probably could add more, I only had a two and, what was it, two and a half teaspoons? Okay. Mm. 
Right, who's will be exceeding my lunch? Okay, so hold on, let me just check. Per serve, how much price? Okay. 113 grams. Is that right? Maybe 150 grams. Hundred and sixty three grams. Yeah, okay. Nice. that there and then this all this divided by two it's a lot of food I'm meant to have two serves Yum. Looks good. All right, shall we have a taste? Look at that. What do we think? Like I said, I don't have any... Um, white sesame seeds, but we can add a bit of black sesame seeds. Crunchy veggies, you want them to still have texture. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy broccoli, flavorful rice, soft, delicious beef. Mmm. Yum. I think the seed's gonna like this. Hot. Yum. That's delicious. A little bit too um, much soy, I think, for me. Mm -hmm. There's heaps of veggies in there and there's heaps of beef. So like, even though you only get quite a bit of rice, but if you want more, then there's like, you can divide this up and it makes two, and it's take two portions. I used more beef, like maybe a hundred grams more beef because I had more, another steak, but it's just going to add more protein because it's, it's lean um, and a thin, really thinly sliced. So... Mm. A See the beef, nice and juicy. Oh, it's a little bit warm, but it's nice and thin. Oh, oh that didn't really show you anything, did it? But yeah. Mmm. Nice and tender. Like I was saying, I use, um, mm, I use top sirloin. Um, so it's quite lean, but it's really tender as well. I use it all the time. I buy it from Costco in bulk. Um, and you, I slice it really thin for sushi my beef sushi, but um, 
beef carpaccio sushi recipe. So I'll leave this here if Exceed wants some. Hey Google, what is top sirloin beef? According to Wikipedia, top sirloin is a cut of beef from the primal loin or subprimal sirloin. Top sirloin steaks differ from sirloin steaks in that the bone and the tenderloin and bottom round muscles have been removed. The remaining major muscles are the gluteus medius and biceps femoris. Makes sense. Does that same cut, do you guys know that name? Hey Google, what's another name for top sirloin steak? On the website chefs-resources.com, they say, other labels for top sirloin are top butt steak, center cut sirloin, or hip sirloin steak. The meat itself is intensely flavorful, with a deep beefy taste. That's good. Um, you could use, you want something a little bit leaner, because, you know, that's the purpose of it to be like a lower fat meal. Um, I personally, my family really loves scotch fillet, like prime rib but I'm not a massive, I don't like how fatty it is. So I prefer like a New York strip or a porterhouse. Um, so it's a little bit leaner, nicer, ch like chunkiest um, piece. You could use chicken as well, of course, yeah. All right, so what's next? We're making pesto chicken, stir fry. Okay. Um, so this one, we're gonna make our own pesto. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's go. I think it's here. Pesto chicken stir fry. So, corn, red onion, parmesan, chicken, zucchini. We don't have any green beans or bell peppers. So, feel free to give me some substitutions for them. And pesto. So, we need to make our own pesto first. So, you guys play some games and I will just grab some basil out of the garden. I'll be back and let's grab it. Oh. Can't blame anyone else because I put this in the wrong spot. So my fault. Um. Delicious. Delicious. What's that? Give me two seconds. Hi, hi. Oh, hi, hi. Hey, hell's bells. Thank you very much for the resub. Thank you for 13 months. What are we substituting? Bell peppers and green beans. I think I might have said more zucchini. I've got some frozen stir fry mix. I might try that. Hell's bells, you got work today? I don't know where my... Oh, my... I don't know it's gone. House. Hey. Hey, army heroes. Um, I'm just going to get the basil one anyway, with my scissors, and then we'll figure out the blending process later. Are you coming, Jess? You want to come? I'll leave the door open for you. Okay. Um, my basil's growing back because it got eaten by some bloody um, caterpillars or something. I'm not really sure what happened.
Ah, boop, boop, boop. Just trimming them quite nicely back. Stuff. Come on, Jess. You coming? All right. He's locked outside. Oh, no, that's good. Come on. In. Come on. Good boy. Great job. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, you got this. Sorry, sorry. I thought I was keeping you entertained when I was away. All right, so just washing this basil because I use a natural kind of herbicide. It's like chili oil or something. So I've got to wash it really well. Keep all the bloody pests away. Okay, so uh, we're gonna use some parmesan, some pine nuts, garlic. We don't wanna go too overboard. Um, if I was parmesan, where would I be? Silhouette. Uh, is that like a fairy? Okay. Chopper like this. Um, so we've got the fresh basil. Looks beautiful. That. Lovely. You leave a bit of the water in there, it won't harm. It'll be actually a bit more helpful because we don't have to use as much oil. Like that. Um, parmesan. job okay next one you got this because I didn't watch a um, YouTube video last night on like the best the best cheeses for grilled cheese toasted sandwich um, and the guy said parmesan plain parmesan and I'm like this was like cheeses on their own the next one was camembert um, but I like personally, if I'm going to do a grilled, good grilled cheese, I do like multiple different cheeses. But interesting, just parmesan, like grated parmesan, melted. A lot of flavour, I get that. But it doesn't have that gooey texture that I like. Okay. So I'm just going to grab some pine nuts. Simon says... And then garlic, trash can, bin, garbage bin, 
mouse cord. Bra? Side boob. Nice. One go. Good one, Rosalie. Cheeseburger. Burger cheese. I just want to know, like, if you don't, if we don't get them, like, now we've got game over, what they are. Like, I just want them to be like, okay, this was this, this was this. And you, you learn for next time. So crap, though. All right, do you guys want to go back? Do you want to keep playing this or do you want to go words on stream? Or play something different? Pine nuts. Could use almonds as well if you want. Almonds works nice. We're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil and then the rest we're gonna use some water. If we need. Would you like to play more of this, more gartic? Or would you prefer words with friends? Words on stream, I mean, whatever it's called. Nice. He needs a bit more cheese. So, vote in chat. Gartic Games. Thank you. Hold up, thank you, Roselli. Mmm. Nice. Vote, vote, vote. So, Peppa. Got a new keyboard. Oh, goodness. Why don't we have a photo in Discord, miss? What kind of keyboard did you get? Could you use sesame oil instead of olive oil to make that pesto for an Asian spectrum? Could you? I don't know. I think it'd be too intense. Like using too much sesame oil would be... And I, I don't know. I've never had... Um, have, you, have you ever had sesame seed and be, pes, uh, basil before? I don't know if I've ever had that combination. Good thing. Good suggestion. All right, guys. Poll up in chat. It's 50-50. Helpful. Typewriter keyboard, retro mechanical gaming one. Pretty light of colours. Purple. I think that's nice. Very aromatic. Okay. Mm. I'm just hesitant on putting too much cheese in this. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, can someone break the tie? 50-50. <laughs> Um, all right, so we need corn, red onion, parmesan, chicken breast, zucchini, beans. Easy. Easy, guys. So, what have I got? I thought I had corn. Oh, yeah, I got corn. So, corn, zucchini. I think I'm going to use a stir fried mix. I 
so much easier than getting all your veggies and chopping them up and whatever. I'm gonna use zucchini, corn, and a stir fry mix. Molly uh, means choice. I, okay. Let's go with words. Let's go. Words on stream. Words went ahead. Oh, nice. Hey, Ed, how you doing? Star. Um, what I'm trying to do is take, use this, use the same fry pan. It's going to get all this meat out of it now. Mmm. Where's the spatula? Welcome in if you're just joining us. How's your week been? Listen to my scrapey noises. Covering these with cling wrap. Good job. You guys are above average. Look at you. Watch this. Let's go. They're a bit tricky, but you guys did it. Oh, one more word. Um, rats, good one. Got us over the, crazy JD got us over the line. All right, I'm just washing, just rinsing out. I don't care too much. This pot. Delicious moment. Hold on. New deep dishes. Hey, Donny! Welcome in! Hello! Hi, guys. Donny, thank you for bringing your community over. Thank you for being here. Guys, welcome in. Pull up a chair. My name is Molly. Uh, we recreate different food items from games, TV shows, or movies, or we just make simple, delicious food, and that's what we're doing today. Uh, we're doing some meal prep. We've just made some beef and broccoli, and now we're doing some chicken pesto stir fry. Pull up a chair. Come on in. Uh, guys, Donnie is a lovely friend of ours. We've known him for so long. When we, I think it's been, we're nearly at seven years of streaming, so it's like six and a half years we've known him. Um, we, I think we got to um, meet each other on Reddit, through Reddit, and then, like, yeah, it's just been since then, um, seeing his, his stream grow, but not only his stream, but his family. He's just a lovely person. And the loveliest voice, um, uh, if you like Madden streams, even Word on stream uh, streams, um, go and check him out, please. Happy New Year, Cat Up Pepper. Pepper, welcome in. Guys, please welcome in the community um, from the raid. How you been, Donny? Hope it's been a good one. I like your moat. Okay, so we've got pesto here, um, corn. So I'm going to use, it says two cup of corn. That made a lot of meat, a lot of food for two servings. So I think I'm just going to use one corn. Nice. Cadet Prepper, what were you up to? Where are you guys coming to us live from? Maybe in North America, Europe, Asia, Australia. Okay, so we're gonna go, and we'll go here, like that. So we'll heat this up. Oh no, not yet. Fantastic. So corn, 
I like to chop my veggies first and then do the meat or, you know, raw meat last because then we can use the knife and the chopping board. When did you get the begging Chester remote? Uh, it, it, it's not begging. It's just him standing up next to the counter. Um, that's probably about three, four years old now. Or no, at least four, four, at least four years. From kitchen number three. Fortnite. How many of you guys play Fortnite still? Okay. So, corn, zucchini. We might go half moons again, so just chop the end off. You play Fortnite? I haven't played Fortnite in... Well, I do tell you this story before, that Exceed and I started playing when it first was released. Um, I think it was in beta. The um, Save the World. Like, the actual reason why Fortnite exists was for the, the, the main game because it was like you had to build forts and you had to like fight against the alien or the, the zombies and the, the side like bonus game was Battle Royale and then that blew up. Um, Save the World was really cool and then uh, when it came out of beta it got like it was really fun and e like easy but interesting but when it came out of beta, it was just incredibly hard. It was incredibly difficult. And I think they, I don't think they, I think they discontinued, like they, what, what just, what's, the, what's the right terminology? They like stopped making, you know, that they, they just focus on Battle Royale now. Okay, zucchini, carrot, uh, corn. Uh, and then the stir-fry veggie mix will just pour in there. Must have unlocked it with my two-year sub, never seen it before. Um, no, should have been there for a while. And now Molly says fork knife. Okay, so we've got zucchini. We'll do a little bit more. Would you guys be interested in teaching me how to play Fortnite? I, I don't know how... I don't, I, the whole, just the building at the same time of, of playing and shooting. I don't know if I'd be any good at that. I'm better at Call of Duty. It used to be a tier two, tier three emote, but now it's follower emote. Thank you, Kat. They have no builds. No builds BR, okay. So I don't have to focus on building. People are so good at it. Just how they just are defending themselves and they just throw up a building. Look at There we go. Okay. So we're gonna put this. I can't build to save my life. Literally, you need to you, you need to build to save your life and you can't. There's zero build mode now. Okay. Um, Margo, how would you rate your building skills? Wait, I think Exceed moved to tier one when Chester started having health issues. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it was tier two. Okay. Cool. Now, next thing is we've got our veggies oh, and red onion. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. Chicken though? Trash. I was only starting to try it a bit, but then they introduced zero build, and now I just buy that zero build. Okay. Would you play with me, Margo? We could have a Molly community tawny. And the winner, winner gets a prize. Okay, so just chicken. This is just two chicken breasts. Chop them apart. 
Okay. And guess who's come to visit? Like that. So, both, I, like I said, I took them out of the freezer, both the chicken and the beef this morning. And then we're just going to dice it. We're not big, like we like, if we're having stir fry or curry, we like the chicken to be chopped small. Hello. Did you tell everyone you're going to see Dr. Catherine today? Going to the vet for your six week, is it six weeks? Six week checkup. Hopefully she says you're all good. Have a little blood test, have a little checkup. And then we'll drive home. If only you're a human and you'd come in, then I could go into Costco. That would be good, because we're all the way up there. Pity it's not the hardware store. You could just take the dog in the trolley. All right. Peace and love, peace and love right back at ya. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit of oil, touch in there. There we go. So this wants, how much caps? Breast. 283 grams of chicken. So I think it's okay, I'm just using extra chicken. I don't think it'll be out much, but. I just probably shouldn't. Mm. Maybe I won't do all this chicken. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Because usually we do one chicken breast between the two of us. So 10 ounces. Or. What's it say? 10 ounces or 283 grams. Hey, Sam. It's just pesto chicken with veggies, basically. Stir fry veggies, nothing too exciting. But we've done beef and broccoli. It's just from um, my meal, uh, my, my trainer gave me We've got this app for the gym, at the gym, and it's got some really good recipes, which is a beef and broccoli. 46 grams of protein per serve. Guys, I'm all about the protein. This XE told me that I get to choose ingredient of the year, this year. I don't agree that I should, but he said it should be protein, because I'm all about the protein. The other day I was hungry, I was so hungry in the evening, and I, I just, I cooked, I cooked a steak, and I just ate steak, salt and pepper, and I just ate steak to get protein, like so I'd feel fuller, and he makes fun of me now. Nice, Sam. So we're just pan frying this. Oh, I need some agua. So this is heaps of veggies. I wonder if it's in my macros, if I can serve it with rice. Stir in pesto. Very good with a little bit of rice. Is pesto okay with rice? Okay. So, so it looks like. Oh, I didn't chop that bit very well, but it's okay. Oh, 
so tired today. I'm gonna make a coffee. Hey Google, turn on Alexa. Okay, turning Alexa on. Do you guys, do you feel like the heat is, I know I'm talking to Australians, South, Southern Hemisphere, does, do you find, well, everybody, do you find that the temperature affects, like, do you get tired in winter? I get tired with the heat. The last week I've been really tired. Um, so then I'm going to make a coffee now because I have to drive um, in about two hours. I've got to go north, Perth. Yeah, it's draining. Whereas, it's not like I don't get energised in the winter, but I prefer to be cooler. Um, and I like toss and turn in the heat at night. Winter makes me cold and wanting to hibernate under blankets in bed. Sun inspires me to be out, yeah? hate being too hot it's like yeah it's like I like being cold but then like winter brings like gloomy like light and so I feel re like energized in the sun I definitely agree with that Roselli or the bright lights but then in winter you feel like you I eat heavier food see you Sam okay so we're gonna add our pesto So how much does it say? There we go. Mmm. Fresh basil from the garden. Get out. Bit of pine nuts. Nice. Here we go. Okay. Our veg. So this is, this is a new product from Woolworths, stir fry mixed veggies. So it's got ca um, broccoli, carrot, beans, and water chestnuts. That'd be good. And it's cheap as well. I keep adding way too much because this is meant to be, this is meant to be for two people, like two servings. It's fun. Uh, wrong size saucepan, guys. Oh, sorry, I keep coming wrong button. And then again, like I said before, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to help cook the veg. There's a fly flying around, fly flying. Uh, let's go into the pantry. There's the little fly, I'm gonna kill him. Got him. Pantry, easy. Let's make a coffee. Did it again, left the puck in there. Guys, I'm never gonna learn. I put up the community wall as well and it bloody fell down. 
He doesn't want anything on my pristine. Um, oh my goodness. He doesn't want anything on my pristine, freshly painted walls. It fell off. I suppose I should be glad that it didn't rip anything. I have a really important question to ask. Lovers, ladies, lads, legends. Are you doing anything for Valentine's Day? Do you believe in Valentine's Day? Do you care about Valentine's Day? Because I, Exceed and I, like we, we do something. We don't do anything too big every year, but um, I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are. You, for us, like we, we make time for our relationship, you know, through every year, throughout the year. Um, but I book something in the evening sometimes and he usually like does the day or whatever. Um, some people don't care. I get it. And we don't buy any each other gifts. We don't do, like, we don't do, we usually like have activities. I don't, yeah, very close to my birthday, so I, uh, so I do not celebrate. All right. I think we did the first few years we were together, but focused more on birthdays and anniversary, yeah. See, I don't, we haven't really done too much for our anniversary last year because Chester was unwell. And it, like, it was Chester's birthday on our anniversary. Um, our, our dog was about, we were told that he was about to pass away. So we made his our, our, the 10th of October, we made it very special for him. And it was still nice because it was like Exceed and I were together, but we didn't like go, we didn't want to go out for dinner or anything. We made it all about chess. Um, no, it's about me and my Labrador, I like it. Some people are very anti it, like consumerism reasons and things like that, which I can you get, but uh, I was looking back on things that Exceed and I have done. We'd been to some nice restaurants. Um, one time Exceed took me on a surprise. We went to this Italian restaurant and they had, like, you know how some restaurants do like themed celebrations and like it was all um, like in the outdoor garden. It's very pretty. And his birthday is the month after Valentine's Day and our anniversary is the month after. So it's, wow, you should have spread it out. Um, a lot of stuff in a row, I to completely understand. So we have, so if you think of January, we've got like, um, my birthday is in May. And then we've got, the only thing that isn't separated is Chris, at Christmas and Exceed's birthday because they're the day after each other. Um, so, yeah, if something could be in like, and now October is that anniversary, October and November. So, um, I don't know. We celebrate October is when we got together, <clears throat> our first and like our, our anniversary of being together, and then our marriage anniversary is November. Um, a month apart. So <clears throat> this year we've been together 10 years and we've been married for five. Can you believe that? Five years we were in um, America. Five, like at the end of the year, it's going to be five years ago since we're in the US, pre-COVID, and we got, we eloped. It's phenomenal. My birthday is six days before Christmas and I'm limited to my options of how to celebrate. Right? So I, we actually discussed 
And I said, like, I refuse to have, uh, like, if we have kids, I refuse to have a December child. Um, I would like to have the kid born before Christmas, like October, November, September, whatever, but refuse to have a December kid. I don't think it's fair on them. So we'll just skip. <laughs> I don't know, it just... I, People say, oh, you know, December kids, whatever. But they, it does it does affect them. It's the same. You don't, honestly, don't mind it too much. Yeah, but yours is a start of um, December, which isn't too bad. Six, six days before, not too bad. But, like, anything, I think, within two to three days before or after, that's a bit hard. I know, I, like, it would be, you would still get it somehow, somewhat, for six days. But like the day after for exceed it's like people don't even acknowledge his birthday people are just in la la land my first boyfriend his birthday was christmas eve that was worse well, like uh, not oh i don't say worse but just as, just as bad being in the void between christmas and new year's would suck because people are always traveling they're always away they can't come to your parties or whatever yeah all right, I think that's it. It's very green. We've got very green and very brown. So this was our beef. Mm. Very brown and very green. Um, I have a friend who was born on New Year's and would get fireworks on his birthday. That's pretty cool. Um, Ari, do you remember Ariella? Her birthday is um, New Year's Eve. My uncle actually got married on New Year's Eve and we, like, we celebrated with him and whatever. And then they separated a few years later, like five years later. And it's awkward because it's like, it's your, it's your like, it's... <laughs> You're going to remember that day. Hey, Gad. Ari's, yeah, wow. Blue hair princess. Okay, let's taste this. Um, and there's this, I think it's quite cute and it's, it's nice. So there's um, a, like a friend of a friend. Her daughter is born, their daughter is born on Christmas Day. And so then they celebrate her birthday on Christmas Day and then the family celebrate Christmas the next day. And it's very sweet. Look at this. Let's have a taste. Mmm. I don't think it's great. It's okay. We did say the great cheese on top. So we might do that. Nothing breaks like a heart. Whoa. Oh, the other thing, I gotta show you this. Let's just taste this if it's better. Better with some cheese. Your face is saying something else. I don't know, it's just, um, maybe it's just a bit watery at the moment. It's just got to absorb some water from the veggies. I don't know, it just doesn't have a lot of flavour. So I didn't really put any salt in it. What I'm gonna do is add some chicken stock powder. That's my like secret weapon. When you want something to taste good, add some chicken stock or beef stock powder. Gives it a boost. Let's add salt, it does. But I don't think there's many calories in there. I gotta check.
So we were on Friday. What are we supposed to be doing on Friday? I think I'm going to change the menu. Chicken curry. We can do chicken curry still. Um, but I thought we'd do either lamingtons, Anzacs, jelly slice. Yeah. So I get a bit strange. Australia Day is a bit of a contentious issue, but there's a lot of um, contradiction around it. Um, but my family is always my family is very inclusive, and it's like it. Our family was like it was always like an open door policy, especially Australia Day. Like all of our friends, 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 families, friends, like it was, and it's always been. Uh, like, like, and whoever was available come over. We had a barbecue. Um, you know, expats it was people from all different countries, languages, or whatever. Traveling um, would always come to my parents' uh, house, and it was just a day of being together and like celebrating, like the town we live in, the country we live in, and things like that. It's become a really a bit of a contentious issue, and I don't really know how to talk about it. And it's like I, there's like shame talking about it because I understand, but I live in a country that is very safe. Is it, there's so much to celebrate, and there's things that we need to move to move forward together. And I really strongly believe that like we are one nation, and and that I. We, I want everyone to be equal, and I want it, everyone to feel safe, and and it to be something that we sell, we can celebrate, and I, that's what I do, um, that's what we do in our family. Um, we have a barbecue, which is really low key, and um, you know, it's it's just a bit of fun, and I think that we sh we have should have a day where we can do that. Um, I know there's everyone has different opinions about it. Um, but every country around the world has a national day, and we should too. Um, it's, yeah, it's changed from when, I, I'm a bit sad, from, it's changed a bit from when we were kids, or like 10 years ago, we used to have barbecues and lots of friends around and things like that, and this year's like, it's just a bit quieter now, but, hey Stace, um, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just going to be a bit of fun, and we'll just have like a, some Aussie food, and uh, I'll show you some stuff, some Aussie food. Yeah, because you know we have indigenous culture um, and indigenous people, and we have a lot of. It's a very multicultural country, and we should be able to celebrate that. And yeah. 100%. Yeah. Celebrate each other's choices and it's okay to celebrate Australia Day. Yeah. Um, and Australia was, you know, I think Captain Cook, the, you know, it's, there's all these issues, like there's all these, like, there's all this stuff about when, um, um, hold on, I just want to read what you guys say. It, um, but it's also okay to acknowledge that what happened to Aboriginals. I agree with that. Yep, 100%. And, but there needs to be a day where we can celebrate and move forward and we celebrate the good. Um, I don't see anything wrong with a national day. Every nation has something problematic about its history. We also all deserve a chance to celebrate the good. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, things have impacted and things that have changed, but... I, just, I believe that the sins of the father shouldn't be brought down on the child, you know what I mean? And we can do better acknowledging our past but do better in the future and it'd be a day where we can celebrate because I grew up, you know, with knowing how 
lucky, you know, we've always called ourselves the lucky country and and it's be a beautiful place of celebration of different people, different cultures and we can do that together. And um, so when Friday, if there's anything that you guys would like to me to make on Friday, any Australian food that you've heard about, um, let me know. There's the fly buzzing around. All right. So I was showing you that this, I don't know if it's right to cook it with, uh, sorry, to eat it with rice. It's probably like a, just a veggie, chicken and veggie dish you eat on your own. But this is what I wanted to show you. I made this yesterday. This is what my dad sends me photos of when he's in Thailand. Do you guys know what this is? Have you ever made pavlova on shrimp? I have. I have. I don't like pavlova though. I don't really like it to eat it. I made your bread curry pumpkin soup for my mum the other day and she said it's her favourite. Wow. I love that. That's the first things first. Curry pumpkin. Oh, the curry pumpkin soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I love to hear that. Thai pumpkin soup. Something with lamb, that's a good idea. Lamb, I like that, Lala. Mm -hmm. This is mango sticky rice. So it just, um, again, cooked in the pressure cooker. Don't need a, a rice bloody cooker. Don't waste your money. Just get yourself a pressure cooker like this. Oh my God, this year, year's lamb ad was terrible. Is it the one with like the, the segregating? Was that last year? With like the, the great divide between the generations? I think it's a bit, I, I think I saw that and it was a bit cringy. It was like the generations are dividing and then lamb brings people together. Whatever. Um, guys, so... Sticky rice. This is Thai sticky rice. I just got it from the um, uh, the Asian grocer. Basically, just glutinous rice, like long grain glutinous rice. Pressure cooker. Two parts rice to two parts water. One part water, one part rice. Um, four minutes. But then I also, um, sorry, I did it. No, I lie. I did one part rice, two parts rice, one part water, one part coconut milk. Or you could do two, <coughs> uh, one part rice to one part coconut milk and then do them 50-50. That works nice. A little bit of salt. And then when it comes out, I just pour some a um, little bit more coconut milk or um, regular milk, a little bit of maple syrup or brown sugar. Delicious. And then fresh mango. Delicious cold, delicious hot. Mm. Condensed milk. Delicious, delicious. This is actually exceeds portion because I ate mine last night. Mmm. Mmm. Mango is so good. Okay, so. I bought sticky rice to do this. I need to get onto it. You got a pressure cooker, uh, Stace, you can do it. Coconut milk is good. Mm. Can't stop. Um, my stepdad used to have a house in Broome. He just sold it. And he used to have a mango tree, so he used to bring mangoes down. But I've had to buy. These weren't too bad. These are the... Um, the like not just right ones from Woolies, like the imperfect ones, four for 10 bucks. Not too bad. They're like on the smaller end. They're a little bit bruised, but the, the flavor is really nice. I'm a fan. I need to stop eating this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so what I'm thinking, be as a lamb, hell's bells, cantaloupe, that's not an Australian word. Cantaloupe. I bought strawberries to do your strawberry punch, so I'm not drinking at the moment. I don't think I'll be hope, drinking for a while. Um, um, what do you call them? What colour are they? Rock melon. And if they're orange, it's rock melon. If it's green, it is honeydew melon. Orange instead, yeah. So, cantaloupe. <laughs> honeydew. Honeydew's green. What's the face for, Kat? You just shocked that I'm not drinking. Not drinking for a while. Eh? Um, yes. Uh, don't worry. Uh, you will. Uh, if we do, then you'll know. But um, now I've made it awkward. So Ixie and I are trying to get pregnant. That's it. And the gym. Oh, but the main thing, at the, later, later. But at the moment, the, the gym thing. I'm doing a challenge. Um, uh, a challenge. Yes, that as well. I was shocked. Because um, I, well, I think it's a generation thing. Like, Exceed and I don't really drink very much. You see me drink on stream because I like creating cocktails, but I don't really drink very often. Um, how many people at the gym, their, their goal sheet, this is not shaming, this is just an observation of how many people, they, I don't, they have kids though, a lot of people have kids, and their goal was like to drink less during the week or drink less in general, and I'm like, Exceed hasn't drunk since Christmas, I haven't drunk since New Year's, you can never get too much practice. <laughs> um, the, most of the couples I know fall, fall pregnant because of drinking, Kids equals drink. I don't drink, rarely ever. A lot of people take alcohol off the list when trying to work out or lose weight. It was so, it has so many calories, yeah. My rule is I don't drink Monday to Friday unless it's a special occasion, yeah. He knows he has to start drinking for two once it happens, right? <laughs> Just one drink on the weekend, yeah. Um, uh, I really, um, if I go to my my parents' house, my, my mum and stepdad, um, I have Coke Zero. And that is a no joke. Having soda is is my treat because I have Coke Zero at my mum and stepdad's house. And I might have like two two Coke No Sugars there because I don't, we don't really drink, I never re, ever really drink full strength Coke or, or like soda. Um, we have a soda stream and occasionally I'll make soda water, um, but uh, it's just, I've never really liked, drunk soda my very much. As a kid, we weren't really, didn't really have it. Um, but on very small occasions, I used to have like a gin and tonic with my mum or a gin and lemonade. Um, but it's more like at Christmas and family events. If we go to restaurants, I'll have a cocktail. Um, but yeah, we've been doing like a, a reset and then I've been doing, and now I've got like my six week challenge. So yeah, it was just interesting. Um, so I don't know where that came from, but uh, Jelly Slice from the website, what do you think about that on Friday? And then I like the lamb idea. Any specific way you would like me to cook lamb? Do you want me to do like lamb shoulder, pulled lamb shoulder, or lamb kebab? I don't really like lamb chops very much. Um, whole on a spit. But you want a spit. I know. Um, you have to play lamb commercial for us. Okay, as you make it. All right. And play the lamb. And go, all right. And play the lamb ad. All right. Uh, I don't know if I can find a spit. Um, 
there's a rotisserie if you want to buy it. It's $99 that I saw at um, Bunnings the other day at the hardware store. Got him. Fly's dead. Um, we are, speaking of that, we're going to be doing a barbecue stream, outdoor barbecue stream. I'm just trying to figure out the location um, in March. And, oh no, uh, end of February, I think. Oven is fine. But what do you want? Like, what type of lamb do you want? You want Moroccan lamb? You want lamb and, like a lamb roast? What do you kind of like? Lamb shanks? Shanks? I have so much alcohol in the cellar, aka the rumpus room, because it is so cool under there. I do use wine for cooking a lot though. Yeah, so do I. One down, 10 billion to go, the flies. Yeah. I can't say it out loud, but they've been better this last few months. They were really, they were a lot. Uh, I like to have all different alcohol to be able to make cocktails and stream and things, but my focus this year is doing mocktails. We're going to make some bloody good mocktails this year, guys. We're going to try um, alcohol-free alcohols, like the alcohol-free spirits. You like seed lip and, and whatever. Says that, I didn't say in detail. The universe doesn't know what, what I was talking about. But and you guys knew what I was talking about. I didn't, I didn't completely say it out loud. I was, I was alluding to the fact, Margot. I like mocktails that don't have fake alcohol in them, just sodas and juices. Okay, we can try that. Um, so, Australian food, hit me. What do you want me to make? Jelly slice, because I want that. I'm not gonna let you like take that away from me. Lamingtons, okay. Um, I'm just writing a Vegemite and toast. I can do that. No pavlova. I'm not, a, I'm not a pavlova fan. I'm sorry. Then we have to eat it. Squares. Cakes for short squares. You mean... Oh, no! Roast lamb. Roast lamb. I like uh, roast with mint jelly. Oh. Um, Exceeds favourite Aussie food. He'll be sausage rolls. You want me to do sausage rolls? A finger bun. I've never done a finger bun. Grumpy. That's a good one. Finger bun. I like that. Anzac biscuits. We make on Anzac Day though. And that's like in a month away. Like two months away. So I, I, I usually do Anzac biscuits on Anzac Day. Fairy bread. I like fairy bread. Okay, I'll write fairy bread. Just to show everyone. Show you how to make fairy bread and Vegemite and toast. Um, roast lamb, uh, sausage rolls. We can make the sausage rolls from the new ebook, the Molly ebook. The beef sausage rolls, they're good. Or there's pork and apple, but it doesn't really like pork. Finger buns, I really like finger buns. They're like, they're like basically like a sweet bread covered in icing. I've never made them because I don't really like to eat them, but I might like to eat them if I've made them myself. And then the chocolate coconut slice. Okay, um, we might, you might have knocked off jelly slice. I really want a jelly slice, but the chocolate coconut slice I'm thinking about putting on the website. So maybe we do that. Chicken palmy. God, you guys are giving me so many good ideas. And we've only got like a three, two, a three hour stream. Delicious. 
Hello, Morgo. Thank you for 49 months on a 49 month streak. Thank you so much. Um, we're actually doing arancini Wednesday next week. We're making mushroom risotto and then we're gonna turn that into arancini. Bowlers. It's gonna be delicious. Okay. Well, that's delicious. Roast lamb. I'll, I'll figure out, like um, I might not do a roast lamb. Because <sighs> I usually, roast lamb's a bit boring. Like I like to use like pulled lamb, like, and then you use it like in, with rice, oh, I don't know. Roast lamb with honey, mint and garlic done in the oven bag on a low temp, ooh, yum. I really like lamb shoulder. But I'm not usually into like roast where you like roast it and then you slice it and you put it on the plate. Melts off the bone. Yum. Oven bag. But so lamb, what like a lamb leg? Hell's bells? What kind of cut? I think you can see we'll like a finger bun and then we'll do coconut slice and then lamb. Okay. So then we've got one main and two desserts. Sounds good. And then fairy bread and then Vegemite and toast, okay? There's a lot of, have you ever used an oven bag? I've used maybe once and that was at least seven, eight years ago. I usually use oven bags when we used to have an old school slow cooker. I used to use oven bags for slow cookers because then you used to just pick the bag up and it, you wouldn't have to wash the slow cooker. It was amazing. Little, my little hack. All right, so we're gonna change the curry. This, this curry will be next week. Mmm, microplastics. I love red ones. The blue microplastics don't taste as good as the red ones. Is it similar to sous vide with a little bit less control over oven temp? It is similar to sous vide. Yeah, okay, with a bit, uh, that sounds good. Morgo, I've been thinking about busting the sous vide out. Fancy you're here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do ramen in about two to two two or three weeks, and we're gonna have to get the sous vide out. I still haven't bit the bullet. I really want to get the um, the vacuum seal bags. I've been wanting them for how long since you bought me the the sous vide? Ever since then, I just can't buy, I can't bring myself to buy the vacuum sealer. Um, but then I'd like, I'd like to use that to then sous vide more. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Hey, Sylvan, welcome in. All right, before we continue, we don't really, before we finish, more like it. I prefer the vacuum seal method over the submerge, but both work. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go again. So we've done rice. We've done beef and broccoli. My DOTD is definitely this. Mm. Clear, C-L-E-A-R, clear. Good one. C, seller, C-E-L, no. C, cereal, good one. Go, you guys are fast. Now let's see if this is, this pesto is kind of like absorb some of the liquid now, it tastes better. Let's have a taste. Mmm, better. I just needed more salt.
needs to do more salt. I gotta check if that adds, what that adds. Mmm, so much better. But, so this is the, the chicken stock powder I use. Chicken bouillon by Lee Kum Kee. It adds, Okay, five gram serving, 13 calories. Yeah, interesting, okay. Great work. See how high you can get. Okay, so it adds 13 calories, 53 kilojoules per five grams. I don't know how much, five gram, I'm going to say a tablespoon. Eris. S Q U E A R. Square? Square. Square. Um. Q U Q U E S Quasar Quasar Q U E S A R yeah. I want to play. church <clears throat> four letters S A U R saw seer seer saw user oh we just... good job. All right, we'll go one more, one more, one and done. And then I'm gonna get to the vet. Okay. Issue, so no, tissue, okay, tissue. Good job. Sits. T I S. Sweets. Have I got one yet? Um, I'm on the board. Choose T A U. Is that a word? You like Tuesday? Suet. Good one. Smashing it, guys. All right. Um, so if you're just joining us on Wednesdays, we just have some easy 
community games like this and cooking. We're going to try and do something different next week. Um, we might do some, like I just said, we could play some actual games like Call of Duty or Fortnite. Do you know how I remember that? Why I sang in my head fork knife, Fortnite. Um, or if there's any other games like this that you recommend, like Stream Racer, Marbles, things like that, let me know. We can set that up. Um, I, I'm gonna, I, we made some food and we're gonna go through it. It doesn't look as good anymore, but that's our, our ideas for Friday shrimp. We did beef and broccoli. It doesn't look very sad anymore. Uh, that was just, I was just showing you made chicken, uh, sorry, chicken pesto, stir fry. I would say, I'd give this about a five, four and a half to five out of 10. Not really great, but edible. Mango sticky rice, beef and broccoli. What is your DOTD dish of the day? And coffee from Indiana. What is your DOTD dish of the day? Mine is definitely this, this is delicious. It doesn't really look good anymore, but this beef and broccoli is yummy. Mm. Tender beef. I think the first time I've ever tried to do that. I don't, well, I don't know. With you know when you velvet meat, if you're supposed to wash the baking soda off. If you're, any of you are thinking about getting a rice cooker. You're not allowed, okay? No one is allowed to buy a rice cooker. Get yourself a pressure cooker, and that is law, okay? I won't let any of you get a rice cooker, because look, we made mango sticky rice, we made fluffy white rice here, you make sushi rice, make deliciousness. No one buy a rice cooker. Um, Cosmocat, or now she's called Whimsy, Whimsy Kate, Kate of Whimsy, Cat of Whimsy, um, was on Instagram and she was like, what rice cooker do I get? And I was like, no, don't get a rice cooker. I think everyone will disagree with me on, you know, because they all like that Zorishi or that Japanese fancy brand. Not a fan of rice cookers. I don't see the, por 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 the porpoise when you can just have an all-in-one cooker. Takes up the same amount of space and you can do so much more with it. I get it that you can't like open the lid and stuff, but it just makes fluffy rice whenever you need it. I used to have one, it made terrible rice, see? Now Margot, now you got a pressure cooker, don't ya? Oh, and you, I keep thinking of you. So, um, this is my new cooker, right? Oh, I thought you had a pressure cooker. Um, so this goes in the, the, this bowl goes in the dishwasher and there's no marks in it. it. Like it doesn't have any scratches. The non-stick um, surface was fantastic. I had my last one for six years, six, six and a half years, and it was fantastic. It had a little bit of marks on the bottom, but for six years, it was amazing. I would kept, have kept using it, except it was dented. I dropped it and it bent. Um, but I always think of you, Margot, when you mentioned your friends had issues with theirs or something, the, the non-stick coming off. Can you cook more rice in the pressure cooker? What brand is that? This one here is a Breville Fast Low Cooker. I don't know if they, I, um, I think they still make this one. I re-bought the exact same one because I love it so much. You don't, uh, for me personally, I don't think you need any like yogurt settings and, and all the board, like weird settings. This literally is a slow cooker, a pressure cooker, and a steamer. I use it on high. A very occasionally I use it on low to cook um, soft boiled eggs. And that's all I use it for. It, once you know how to use the machine, it's fantastic. Like any machine, you can use it for anything. Um, I'm a big fan. It wasn't my friends, it was an online review. Okay. So yeah, this was 160 I think, brand new. Uh, it has gone up in price since I got gifted it 
seven years ago. <laughs> so um, they've kind of kept their, you know, since COVID, they went up again and then they've kind of kept back down. Um, I would have thought that you would, this would easily be 100 bucks, but it's kind of it stayed constant. Breville is a really great brand. Um, and there's no, not a lot of moving parts. It's got multi-lock system in it. So um, I used to be fearful of pressure cookers for that reason of, you know, I, you hear them exploding and things. But if you read my cookbook all in together, which is slow cooker, pressure cooker food, the safety me- goes into the safety mechanisms and you can lo- just Google it. Like this has a lock when it pressurizes. This pin pushes out. So you can't unlock it until the pressure is released. Um, and there's heaps of different safety features. It's like this. There we go. So it releases. And then so when you shut it like this, the pin pushes in. So then you can't, you can't open the lid when there's pressure. So it's really good. Big fan. Big fan of pressure cookers. I was, I didn't really, I didn't know much about them until I was forced to do a cookbook. I gave, the, we gave the community these, these options and you guys got to vote on our next cookbook and it was out of solo servings, so like individual portion recipes or slow cooker, pressure cooker cookbook and the pressure cooker and slow cooker won and I was not very interested. I was not very excited for it. But the more I got out of my comfort zone, pushed myself to learn more about what was capable. You can make rice, you can make bread rolls, you can make steam buns, cake, hot chocolate, heaps of different things in here. It's fantastic. Things you wouldn't even know. But yeah, that's enough about me chatting about that pressure cooker. Um, We are going to visit, let's go visit someone new in food and drink. Let's go spread our love around. Um, Copy and paste this. So as I said, Australian food on the next stream, which is in one day and 20 hours and one day and 22 hours. Okay. Um, Thank you for those who have contributed to the channel today. Jfro, thank you for resubbing for 65 months. BA for 15 months. Grumpy for 51. Roselli, thank you so much for gifting to Booty. BCK, 24 months. Hells Bells, 13. Margot, 20, 49. Danielle rated. Everyone there was over 12 months. That's amazing. Get in now to get the faster you um, sub, the faster you get over 12 months, get your badge. <laughs> um, thank you, everyone, for contributing to today's stream. Thank you for being here. Bit of fun, bit of different. Um, I really appreciate the support. Thank you for the raids. If you've come over in a raid, make sure you hit the follow button. If you're here for the first time, come and hang out with us. This is a little introduction to who we are and what we do while I find someone to raid. All right, we are gonna raid, I don't think we've ever raided her before, Lulu's Kitchen Party. So she's pizza and wine night. I don't think we've raided her before, so let's jump over there. Did that work? Did that work? I don't think that worked. I'm professional, guys. Did that work? What's going on? What? 
Is it ready? Is it ready? <laughs> Thank you, Rosalie. Thank you for being here. It's always great to have your support. Isn't Rosalie fantastic? There we go, that's worked. Fabulous. Uh, guys, thank you for being here. Um, please give the mods a round of applause for the support. Um, thank you for all of the chats. Thank you for giving your opinions today. I really appreciate it. It's nice hearing from you guys and having to be able to have, you know, some conversations about some good topics. Um, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you on Friday for some Aussie food. Take care, brush your hair, be good to yourself and those around you. Copy and paste the raid call message and jump over with us and say hello to Lulu and her community. Um, and I will give you an update about Chester tonight. See you guys. That was the wrong button. Bye.